Whoa, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Let's talk about some of the species of Asclepius or the milkweeds that I find here around North Mississippi and Southwest Tennessee. And I just happen to be standing next to one of them, Asclepius tuberosa. What a beautiful plant. So let's talk about that one first. This is a photo of Asclepius tuberosa growing out of asphalt. I took this photo in Hernando, Mississippi earlier this year, and I think it's a great portrayal of how robust this plant is in the Lust Plains of Northwest Mississippi and Southwest Tennessee. This thing is all over the place. It wants to be here and I'm here for it. I love it. It also has this pretty awesome color variation from deep orange to a lighter orange that you can see here. This is a subspecies of Asclepius tuberosa called interior. So Asclepius tuberosa interior. When I see this one, it's usually got a little bit more of a compact growth habit, being a shorter plant and more lanceolate leaves. I've also noticed that this subspecies is usually a deeper red or orange color, which is pretty fantastic. That is not a defining characteristic, just an observation of the ones around here. To my knowledge, there's not yet a range map on bone app for Asclepius tuberosa interior. So this is a map of all of the research grade verifiable observations on iNaturalist. I highly suggest using this explore function not just for this Asclepius, but for all observations and all living things it is a great learning tool. This next one is Asclepius viridiflora or green comet milkweed. I find this one in similar or same habitats as Asclepius tuberosa, grassland remnants, prairie remnants, but it's a little more conservative and uncommon to find. It's always a treat to find it. I've seen this plant get anywhere from one to three feet tall and it can tolerate mowing. So it's a huge variability in size. Check out my friend Josh standing next to a pretty tall individual. This one is Asclepius variegata or red ring milkweed. And I typically see this one in the Bluff Hills ecoregion or east of us in the Northern Hilly Gulf Coastal Plain. This beauty is Asclepius amplexicalis or clasping milkweed. Asclepius verticillata or the world milkweed. It's pretty uncommon here, but prevalent in the Black Belt Prairie to the east. Asclepius perennis or the aquatic milkweed. I tend to see this one in the Mississippi alluvial plain ecoregion, mostly in open wet habitats. Last but not least, Asclepius syriaca or the common milkweed, which really couldn't be any more uncommon in the state of Mississippi. It's pretty uncommon in West Tennessee as well, but I'm sure if you live in the Midwest or other parts of the country, you're probably very familiar with this one. It's an awesome plant. Honorable mentions for my region. Asclepius viridis or antelope horn milkweed. Wouldn't be surprised if you've seen it around here. I just personally haven't, and I know it's prevalent to the east and west of us. Asclepius incarnata or the swamp milkweed. I'm pretty sure we have records for this one in Shelby County. I thought I found one one time in Fayette County, Tennessee, but I'm thinking it very well could have been established from seed for a wildlife planting. I would absolutely love to find this along one of our local creeks or rivers. If you live in the Memphis area and you've come across a wild population of this Asclepius before, please let me know. This one is Asclepius hertella or tall green milkweed or prairie milkweed. I've seen this one once before south of here. I know it tends to be in high quality intact grassland remnants. I think it could very well be hiding somewhere around here in the Mid-South, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, in a high quality site. Asclepius purpurescence or purple milkweed. I know this one has been documented near the Mississippi River south of here, very close by. So I would absolutely love to find this maybe in the alluvial plain, maybe somewhere near Helena. If you've seen this milkweed in North Mississippi or West Tennessee, please let me know. Thanks for watching this super long Asclepius video and y'all have a good one.